All right, so today I'm gonna to go through uh, doing a complete disassembly of a Toshiba L635. This model has a dead motherboard, so I'm gonna pull it out and see if I can uh, revive it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the battery pack. After that, you can go ahead and remove the two screws holding down the RAM cover and then pop up the RAM cover. Just pop right out like that. Now to remove the RAM, you're going to want to press out on these two levers and it'll pop up and you can just pull it right out. There's one screw holding in the hard drive right here. Pull it that way, It'll come right out. Okay. Now what I like to do is take out all of the F6, F2, um, all the F6 and F2 screws. So those are going to be all around the edges. Um, now you'll also need to remove the optical drive, which actually has an F5 screw, but this is the only F5 screw that you're going to need to remove and the optical drive slides right out, you'll see a couple more F2s. Okay, so go ahead and get started with that. Okay, once you've removed all the screws, go ahead and flip it over, open it up. Next piece that's going to need to be removed is this piece right here. It's a little black uh, piece of plastic right above the keyboard. Um, if you look closely, there are some indents. Go ahead and stick something under there and just gently pry up like that. And then you can wiggle it out. Now holding it in, you'll find two screws and one latch. Go ahead and remove these screws. And then push up on the latch. And that will release the keyboard. Now you'll need to remove the keyboard to do so. It's got a ZIF connector. What you want to do is push that way on the ends there are little gray ends. Just push up towards the LCD. And that will just release it like that. Okay, now you've got three more connections that you're going to need to remove. There's one right here. Just pop it out. One right here. And then there's one right here. Now this is a little bit different. This one has a little latch that closes down on the connector, so you need to open it up like that. 
Okay, and then just kind of run your fingernails across the edges until you get a good spot to pull up, and it'll just pull up like this. Oh, there are two, there are actually uh, a couple more screws. Sorry, I lied. Okay, once you've taken those out, then it should come right up. Okay, let's set that aside. Okay, now this is the motherboard for the laptop that I'm trying to get at. Uh, if you need to replace the LCD, I guess I can do another video if anybody needs it, but it's obviously very self-explanatory from here. Uh, but to remove the motherboard, first thing I do is take off this piece of tape and go ahead and disconnect the power from it. Do that by just wiggling this out. Then you've got another connector right here. Then you can go ahead and disconnect the wireless card. These will just pop right up. Okay, and then you've got the screws holding it in place. Uh, there's a couple of things to be careful here. Once you remove the screws, it's going to take kind of a, a wiggling action to get it out. So if your motherboard is working right now, and for some reason you're taking it out, if you're replacing the base or something, uh, be very careful because you can kill your motherboard if you bend it too much. So go ahead and start removing all the mounting screws. Two locations have an additional little metal bumper. This is one of the locations right here. So when you take off the screw, you'll notice a little bumper right here. So just make sure you don't lose that piece. The other location is right here. Okay, so once you've gotten all the screws out um, and removed all the cables from the board, you need to look right in here because if you have this fan connected, it's actually connected to the base and there are some wires going over a little elbow off of this fan. So if you're pulling at it and yanking and yanking and it's not coming out, that's the reason why. Now this screw won't come out, it's connected, but just make sure it's not um, screwed in. Okay, now that it's out, I can show you why you have to wiggle it. If you look at the bottom side, right here, the um, VGA port kind of has this lip on it. And the base of the case has this, so you have to kind of get the VGA port over this little pillar right here to get it out. Um, but as you see, that's all there is to it to taking apart one of these Toshiba laptops. So it's very simple, very easy to get to everything. Um, you can easily upgrade your processor. Uh, now keep in mind, if you're doing this removal to upgrade your processor, you're gonna want to 
make sure you have the latest BIOS and make sure the CPU is 100% compatible before going through all this work. But that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll do a separate video for putting it together once I've baked this motherboard to 